हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स बाय ए एम बी बिफोर मूविंग फर्दर इफ यू स्टिल डिडेंट सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल प्लीज क्लिक ऑन सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड क्लिक ऑन बेल आइकॉन टू गेट नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ ऑल माय न्यू वीडियोस इन प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी हैड डिस्कस्ड वेरियस प्रोसेसेस ऑफ एक्सट्रैक्शन लाइक इन्फ्यूजन डिकॉक्शन digestion and maceration in this presentation we are going to discuss about another extraction process that is percolation in this presentation we are limiting ourselves to simple percolation after going through this video the learner will be able to define percolation classify percolation processes and perform simple percolation process processes of extraction which involve a passage or flowing of menstruum through drug for a short period of time is called as percolation so here flowing of menstruum is important maceration is stationary process while percolation is continuous process concentrated portion of menstruum is continuously displaced here or replaced here by fresh portion of menstruum fresh menstruum is responsible for complete extraction of drug hence percolation can be termed as short successive maceration or extraction by the method of displacement as menstruum is displaced continuously in percolation selection of menstruum is very very important let's see why it is important in percolation menstruum remains in contact with drug for very short duration or short period which may be insufficient to solubilize the active constituents thus efficiency of percolation depends upon solvent capacity of menstruum hence selection of menstruum is very essential in percolation process now let's see types of percolation percolation is divided into three types as simple percolation or it is also called as percolation for tincture second is percolation process for concentrated preparation and third is continuous hot extraction process percolation processes for concentrated preparations are again subdivided into two types as reserve percolation and modified percolation we will discuss these types one by one in this presentation we will discuss about simple percolation or percolation for tinctures so first we will see what is tincture tinctures are the extract of crude drugs from plant or animal origin which are extracted with menstruum which contain 25% to 90% volume by volume of alcohol so tinctures are somewhat less concentrated preparations now let's move to simple percolation simple percolation involves three steps as imbibition maceration and percolation let's see these steps in details first is imbibation imbibation is the process of moistening powdered drug with sufficient quantity of menstruum and allowed to stand for 4 hours in a closed vessel imbibation allows swelling of drug before packing into the percolator swelling of drug helps in easy packing of percolator that's why imbibation is very very important for proper packing of the percolator but question arise in mind that if we are using menstruum for percolation then why there is need of imbibation let's see the answer if drug is packed in percolator in dry condition menstruum will wash dry and fine drug down towards the bottom of the percolator and forms an impermeable layer it will blocks the percolator also dry powder is having entrapped air on its surface this entrapped air 
can resist flow of menstruum and disturbs the packing. Imbibation prevents flow of powder down in the percolator which prevent blocking of percolator. It also allows escape of entrapped air from powder drug which is preventing development of resistance to flow of menstruum and will not disturb packing. Okay, now next question arise in mind that how much quantity of menstruum is needed for imbibation. Quantity of menstruum used for imbibation depends upon swelling property of the drug. Normally half the number of ml of menstruum is used for the number of grams of drug to be extracted. So if we are uh, taking 1 kilogram of drug half the 1 kilogram that is 500 ml of menstruum is used for the imbibation. Proper moistening of drug can be checked by pressing the drug slightly and see if it can retain the impression or not. If it retains impression, proper moistening is done. Now, next step is maceration. Before maceration, imbibed drug is packed into a percolator systemically. You can see another video regarding how to pack percolator in systemic way. After packing, sufficient quantity of menstruum is added to saturate the material. When liquid starts coming out of percolator, the outlet is closed. Then sufficient quantity of menstruum is added in order to leave a layer above the drug. Keep drug in contact with menstruum for 24 hours. During this duration, menstruum solubilizes the active constituents of the drug and become almost saturated with it. Next step is percolation. What is percolation? Percolation involves downward displacement of saturated solution formed in maceration and extraction of remaining active constituents by slow passage of menstruum through the column of drug. Now we will see how percolation is performed. After 24 hours of maceration, 3 fourth volume of volume required for final product is collected or it will be collected till all the drug is exhausted. Rate of collection of percolate is generally 10 to 30 drops per minute. During percolation, we have to take precaution that top of the drug column should not become dry. To avoid drying, fresh menstruum is added in the percolator. Finally, percolate is filtered to remove the debris or other material and clarify the preparation. Now, question arise in the mind that how can we check whether all the drug is exhausted or not? It is checked by various tests. We can check percolate for the presence or absence of active constituent by performing specific identification tests for that specific chemical or percolate. If percolate shows the presence of active constituent, drug is not yet exhausted. Or we can check color of the percolate. If color is absent, all the drug is exhausted. Or we can check whether percolate is having bitter taste or not. This test is only possible if active constituent has bitter taste. Absence of bitter taste in percolate indicates that all the drug is exhausted. Now question arise in mind what to do of mark. Actually all the active constituent is exhausted from the drug. There is no need to press the mark. But if costly solvent is used for percolation process after exhaustion or after collecting required quantity of percolate, mark is taken out from percolator and pressed to recover costly solvent. Now it's time to summarize today's session. We had discussed that process of extraction 
which involves a passage of menstruum through drug for a short period of time is called as percolation. Then we had discussed that simple percolation, percolation for concentrated preparations and continuous hot extraction process are the types of percolation. In this presentation, we had discussed in detail about simple percolation. We will discuss another types of percolation process in next presentations. Thank you for listening me patiently. If you like this presentation, please click on subscribe button and bell icon to get notifications of all further videos. Like it and share it to your dear ones. Drop your queries in comments or on my mail address which is given in the video. Thank you once again.